Hey, everybody. We are here to talk about Oprah. And we're talking here about Oprah specifically from the five presentation tips that I saw her use during the Golden Globes that I want you to use as women leaders. Here are the five lessons that from Oprah. Now, we all saw, you may have seen her present at the Cecil D. Meal Award where she received it from the Golden Globes. Golden Globes. She had nine minutes where she shared her truth, sharing different stories, her impact, her determination, and what she felt strongly about regarding women and women in the industry. But she spoke not, her words weren't only what was powerful. It was how she stood how she presented, and she uses some very specific techniques that women must use when they're making powerful statements, when they're speaking in business, when they're speaking from the stage, when they're speaking and wanting to ensure that people hear what you have to say. This is all about you. Why me? Why should I be the one that's talking to you about it? I am in the Motivational Speakers Hall of Fame one of eight women amongst 55 other men. I'm the only Latina. I'm also named one of the three women in the 2016 Women Who Rock by Macy's and Minority Business Magazine. That means that my business has been noticed for its success, its sales, and its legacy that over 30 years being in business. I've had to pitch in small groups, speak in large groups, and all those experiences enable me to give you some of the insights that I've learned from being a powerful woman speaker. I'm also one of 100 global thought leaders on diversity and inclusion. I've studied women. I know women. I work with women. I know when women leaders want to have influence, impact, and the ability to inspire others. I'm also executive coach to some of the nation's leading women in business, government, entrepreneurism, and even in the military. Yes, I've coached admirals and female generals. So here are, some of the here are the five points. And let's start with the first one, which is the triangle. The triangle is the most one of the most important things that women can know about presenting. The triangle means that your head stays straight within the triangle. <clears throat> Notice the bottom part of her, her head stays in, in alignment with, here, let me just show this to you. Her head is right here, staying very straight, stays within the triangle. It's not shifting to the right or the left. And why this is important is, when women's heads shift from the right to the left, or there's any kind of movement like this, or oftentimes their heads will just stay cocked to one side. It diminishes your power. It discounts what you're saying. You can see this on newscasts when people are trying to look, oh, let me share this. Stay straight. If you're making a powerful statement, make sure your head stays straight on, fitting into the triangle. And for women especially, I want to make you to make sure that you practice this in front of a mirror or you use your webcam and take a video because oftentimes we don't even recognize that we're doing it. It's such a taut, coquettish, uh, whimsical, oh my gosh, this is so cute experience. If you're gonna be powerful, you have to practice with using video to see yourself to make sure that your head is straight within the triangle. In other words, if you look at Oprah's head, her, if her head moves, it'll hit one side or the other side of the triangle. That is a reminder for you. You don't want to hit, you want to keep it straight within the center. The second thing that Oprah did, which was outstanding, was that she kept her shoulders very, very straight. So her shoulders here are straight. They, it's, an, it's in a line. There's not the shifting going up and down to either side. And her arms stayed in proportion of where her shoulders are. 
Notice where her hand is. She used, she didn't flop her arms up. She used her fingers from her elbows, but she kept this part of her body, this part of her body very straight. So it's straight across, shoulders down, across the chest. You can use your arms for sure, but notice that there's no flipping, there's no fidgeting going on. It's very straight on within the rectangle. As you present, you want to do the same thing. You want to be able to keep your arms in, in close to your body and you can use your hands. Now, you can also reach out and make it larger. Again, I'm keeping my arms straight along that rectangle. I'm making it bigger. I'm expanding and that's, that's good. That's very good. This is very powerful. But you want to make sure that in your presentations, you're not doing flippy floppy with your arms, that you're keeping them close, keeping them in control and noticing just as she notices, she's able to make a point with her hands without flipping her body around. The third key piece is noticing her eyes. Notice that her eyes are looking straight on. She's able to look clearly into the camera. She treats the camera as though it's a person. And this in today's age, day and age when we're using webcams, where we're using videos, maybe you're doing a presentation and you're gonna be on the big IMAX, you wanna find the camera and make sure you're relating to the camera as though it's a human. Because those in the audience, whether they be on TV, whether they be in another satellite office, whether they be sitting way back in the audience and so they're only watching the screens, they feel you looking at them when you look at the camera. But here's the thing. You want to look straight on just as she is. Keep your eyes focused. And then you also want to be relating to the audience. So you focus on the camera. You speak to the camera as though it's a person. And then you go to the next person in the audience. You find the person that you're going to talk to. You talk to that one person. Make the statement just as she did if you watched the video. You look at the other person clearly, just looking at them. Everybody around them will feel like you are talking to them. You come back center. And again, you're going to center into the main camera. You're going to talk to the main camera again, stating your point. And then you go to the other side. So then you're speaking to the audience. It is very important that you have this relationship with them. But... The other piece is you don't want to look like a uh, a watering fountain, you know, that goes. You, this kind of constant movement of your face back and forth and back and forth is not strong and powerful. It's got to be statement, point, look, statement, point, look, statement, point, look, and back to center. That creates power. Her voice. The voice that she used is very strong. It's lower. So it's not talking up here and it's not being higher and it's and she has trained her voice to be lower over the years. She's her voice has become lower and lower. Lower voice octaves have more resonance, that more of that rumble, more ability to reach people and hear them. Practice keeping your voice lower, go from the top mm, to the bottom. Make sure that you're mm, having this voice resonance going on. For women, the highest paid actresses all have lower voices. And for you, you should be practicing how to get your voice low. What you don't want to do is get your voice into this high-pitched kind of screechiness that goes in. And then you're trying to speak like this. And you're trying to talk to people and convince them. But that high-pitched voice actually turns off people. That high-pitched voice and scratchiness actually hurts people's ears. So if you want to be heard, you want to bring your voice down. You want to speak in short, simple, 
clear sentences. Speaking in short, simple, clear sentences in lower octaves enable people to hear. And then you also want to use, which she used magnificently, is the power of the pause. When you use the power of the pause, you give people time to catch up to what you're saying. The power of the pause can create more passion, more clarity, and more power when used well. So you have your paragraph, short, simple sentences, and then you use the power of the pause. Let people catch up to you. Let people hear your words. They're sitting in the audience and you speak, but it takes time for it to enter their brain, to hear it and to go, oh. Give them the pause so they could catch up to you. The last thing that she did was plant her feet. Planting is so critical for you to feel sturdy on stage, for you to own the stage. And the best way to plant your feet is to take your feet, take your heels and push them as though they're going into the ground. Make your feet at least a foot apart from where your elbow is to your corner, to your, your big finger. Spread your feet so that you're owning the stage, you're planting. Remember when you've, if you've ever held a baby, you didn't cross your feet, you didn't, you, you actually held the baby and you planted your feet so there was a sturdiness. So you were communicating through your body to the baby, I've got you, I'm secure, I've got you, don't worry. When you plant on stage with your feet and you spread them and hold that, that your feet, you are planting and saying, I got this. I own the stage. Don't worry, I've got it handled. I know what I'm doing. This creates power and confidence from others. So let me go through those five points again. The triangle, your rectangle around your chest to hold it straight, your eyes, Make sure you're communicating to people. Your mouth, keep your voice down, speak in short, simple sentences with a pause. And plant your feet. If you want to participate with a group of women who are powerful, who are ready to, who are in engaging, involving, and making a huge difference in the world, join us at the Feisty Fearless Female. It's a paid membership for women experts, authorities, and leaders. And I look forward to having you join us in that group. My name is Pegeen, and I so look forward to being part of your life. Connect with me at Pegeen Power, on YouTube at Pegeen, on LinkedIn at Pegeen, and even on Amazon. You can find all of my books and reach out to me at Amazon Author Pegeen. Look forward to talking with you and continuing our discussion. Take care.